Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I told you guys about a month ago that I would be back with these Magnolia Pearl inspired clothes that I've been making. And um, <coughs> I'm using, her name is Tracy and her channel is T Myers Handmade. You guys have to check her out. Oh my gosh, I made these clothes. You kind of upcycle different things. I'll, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's upcycling clothes. And um, I'm using T. Myers Tracy's techniques to do it. And um, I'm obsessed with this. I will do this for the rest of my life. I'm serious, you guys. I'm making the um, wardrobe of my dreams. I have always loved uh, Magnolia Pearl clothing. I saw Magnolia Pearl's clothing about 13, 14 years ago. I think it was around that time in a magazine called Where Women Create. And I loved those clothes then. And I don't even think she was that popular yet. But over the last few years, she's gotten really popular. People know about her and they love her clothes. A lot of people do. And um, when I seen Tracy with these techniques and I could make my own uh, Magnolia Pearl style clothes, I was like, oh my goodness. So... I'm going to do a little fashion show for you guys today and show you guys everything I've made so far. And I will make some videos. Now, if you guys want to make these type of clothes and you want to learn these techniques, go visit um, uh, Tracy. T. Myers. T. M. E. Y. Is it T? Let me just make, let me make sure I have it right. I'm going to put a link below anyway. Um, yeah. T. M. Y. E. R. S. Handmade. T. Myers, and um, her name's Tracy. Go to her channel. There'll be a link below, and you guys go check her out, and you can learn to make any of the stuff that I've done, and she breaks it down so well. Now, some people have been asking me, will I make some videos? Yes, I will make some videos and show you how I did it. I'm using her techniques, so I'm giving her credit for that, but you know, everybody does things a little bit differently, and I have done some things a little bit differently just because I thought, oh, this might be a little bit easier for me. And the main reason I've done some things a little bit different and be easier for me is because she's been doing this for so long. I take a couple extra measurements sometimes or put more pens or do it a little differently just because like I'm not as good as her, you know, but, um, and, um, also you'll do things, everyone will do things differently because like what I'm wearing right now, I made this out of a, um, was this a robe? It's either a robe or a nightgown. Um, this one was, the one I'm wearing right now was a nightgown. Um, it depends on what you're starting with, you know, so your techniques are going to be a little bit different. But I'm using her techniques, but you might combine them in different ways. So, yes, I will show you guys how I, uh, I'll do videos on how I made my stuff, okay, using her techniques. Okay, so let me stand up and show you guys what I'm wearing. This is a duster. Let me explain this real quick. This is the duster that you're about to see. It was made from a nightgown. So if you think about it, um, she likes to make dusters from robes. And I did make a duster from like a robe, but this one's from a nightgown. And I split it in the center. It had a, did it have a zip? Yeah, it had a zipper. And I split it all the rest of the way down. So then basically I have a robe, right? Well, if you think about a shape of a robe, a robe looks just like a duster, right? Especially if it's made in cotton. So then you add things to it and all this to make it look like a duster, okay? The sleeves, um, I added the sleeves on. The sleeves are a uh, dust ruffle. So this is made from a dust ruffle for the sleeves and for the roughly full sleeves and a nightgown. Now she tells you how to make it from a, um, a cotton robe. I made it from a cotton nightgown because I couldn't find a cotton robe. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying, even though, and I've used her techniques, but see things changed a little bit because I didn't start with a cotton robe. I started with a cotton nightgown. Okay, so let me get up and show you guys my first thing. You guys check it out. I am so obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to bring my camera down too. Oh, and the other thing I'm wearing is, she, this is her technique too, are these jean shorts. You guys, aren't these jean shorts? I showed this before in one of my videos, the jean shorts. But look how cute these shorts are. Make sure my zipper is up. Okay. Look how cute these are. So she shows you how to take um, cut out flowers. These are all flowers. These are actually sheets. 
and um, and uh, applique them onto the jeans. Whether it's jean shorts, a pair of jeans, she teaches you how to do it. Look how cute these are. Aren't these everything? And she shows you, and, and then, you know, these were all ripped and real shabby and ripped and then patches, appliques. I love them. You guys, I'm obsessed with this whole thing. Okay, so she, and she, she has this on her video too of how to do that. Did she show, I don't know if she showed you, see, this is a change. I don't think she showed you, I don't think she has a video for jean shorts. She showed you how to do this same uh, applique, oh, this same technique of putting these, sewing these appliques on with jeans. And um, I wanted to do jean shorts first because I'm wearing shorts. So I just used those techniques and did it on, on shorts. Okay, so look at this. Look at this duster. Is this fabulous? So this right here was originally a nightgown. I'll come in a little close. Okay. And I took appliques. This is her techniques. I took appliques and I cut them out. These were sheets. Um, and I've always, ha I've always collected sheets to use as fabric, um, wedding appliques, um, doilies, laces, because I do a lot of stuff with making bags and altering things. So I already had a bunch of stuff to use for this. Also, she chose, she always uses exposed seams, which I love. So you sew it so that you see the seam and you let some little fringes hang off. So it looks real shabby. I am obsessed with that. And then um, these right here, these are, um, there's patches all over this whole thing. And this is a, a, a pair of jeans. Um, let me just make sure what I'm looking at. This is a pair of I'll look at this one. This is a pair of jeans that I cut out like a square. And then on the square, I appliqued roses and a teacup and also a uh, wedding applique. Isn't that fabulous? So here's the, jean, the jeans I cut into a square. Then there's a rose and then there's a teacup. The teacup fabric I got at Hobby Lobby if you want to know where I got that. This was a sheet. Cut that rose out. And then these are wedding appliques. Okay, and I put all that together and I sewed all this on here. She shows you how to do stuff just like this. Okay, um, and I did a, a beautiful rose applique here too. Anyway, I am obsessed with this. So I've done that all the way down. Now the sleeves, look at these bell sleeves. Are these just, <sighs> I love a bell sleeve, you guys. And look at these. So you remove the sleeves originally from your robe or for my case, the night the cotton nightgown. She shows you how to do it. You remove the sleeves, and I uh, attached on here a dust ruffle. You guys, her techniques, it's so easy. It's not even hard to do, okay? When she showed you the techniques. Um, at the bottom, I can't really show you. Well, yes, I will. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can get a full length at the bottom. Okay, because at the bottom, oh, and I also did add trim on the edge, okay, to finish it off and make it look really nice. Pretty, huh? And then I added, yeah. So let me, I just want you to see the bottom of this. Isn't this so cute? And I'm gonna show you my shoes too, you guys. I did my shoes. The shoes are cute. I was doing the shoes, I did the shoes a while back before I even started this all this technique. Now here's the back, you guys. See that? There's a big patch on the back. It's super cute. They look like sunflower packets. The fabric looks like sunflower packets and I got it a long time ago at a thrift store. So I thought, and they're big squares and they're all on this one piece of fabric, but it's like a seed packet, a seed packet, like they're big. You saw how big it is. And so I cut that, that square out or rectangle out and put that on the back as a big patch on the bottom just for decor. So she did something too on the back of hers, I think, but it was something different. So that's what I'm saying. You can do so many cool things. Um, Oops. There we go. Okay. So I was trying to think what else I was going to say about this. I think I said everything about this piece. Okay. So let me get up and I made another one of these dusters and I, you guys have seen this one before, but I'm going to show it again just in case, um, there's people who haven't seen it. So let me show you that one.
Okay, so let me take this one off. And I love, you can dress them up or dress them down. So when you dress it down, like with a ripped pair of shorts that are all patched with these roses, then you can um, you can wear it anywhere. I wear it shopping. I wear, I'll wear it to the Dollar Tree. I wear it to Hobby Lobby going shopping. Love it. Okay, so this one is made out of like a robe, like how she originally did it. But it was actually a duster that I bought from, I think, HSN for like 12 bucks. They were clearancing them. And I picked up four of them, two pinks and two whites, because at $12. But I didn't completely like it because the lace that they originally had on it, it made it look like a robe. So I was like, I need to change the lace. Well, I never did it. So I have two of this one in pink and two in white. So I have three more of these to do. I'm so excited. Okay. So let me explain again. Okay, so like I said, this is more, let's just call it a robe. Because basically when they sent me this, they said it was a duster. It looked like a robe, okay? So I'm so glad I didn't do my own changes. I wait, I, I found her and did her changes to it. So here it is. Again, these beautiful bell sleeves are a dust ruffle. And I already have been collecting dust ruffles, um, sheets with ruffles. You can also get a sheet that has a ruffle on it. Um, curtains sometimes look like this. So get these things from thrift stores. And I already been collecting all this because I was always into altering uh, things already, making purses, altering different projects, making lace bags, making lace books, uh, just all this kind of stuff. So I had all this stuff on hand already. But you can get all this kind of stuff from the thrift store. Okay, so this one's done the same way with this pink robe. And I took the jean patches again and did the same thing. I took a, a jean, I took a, a, oh, and these are actual jeans. So when you're at the thrift store, pick up some jeans that you don't mind cutting up, or if you have some jeans in your closet, if you want to do this. So I took another jean, I took, a, took some jeans, cut out a square, a flower, <coughs> and those same teapots. <coughs> the teapot fabric is so pretty. I'll show it to you. I got this at, Ho at Hobby Lobby and they have it, I believe, they have it right now. I just saw it when I was there. Isn't that the cutest fabric, you guys? And the best deal for fabric, you guys, is really buying sheets. That's what I like. I like to buy sheets. Then you have tons of fabric um, and you can usually find um, sheets with roses and, and flowers on it and stuff. So, and, oh, and this right, like, oh, this was... I think this was a sheet with a ruffle on the end. Okay, and that's what I made the sleeves. So I cut the original sleeves off just like the last one. She teaches you how to attach the new sleeve on. It's super simple, you guys. I love it. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, let me bring you down so you guys can see. Let me show you one of the patches on here up close. Okay, well, I'll let you see several patches, see? Isn't that fabulous, you guys? I love it. And again, um, these are just like appliques that I, is this a jean patch too? No, this is a rose. I cut out a rose and then I cut out a teacup and made like little appliques on both. And she leaves it so that it has a free edge on it so that it, the trim can get kind of shabby. Absolutely love it. Okay, let me bring you guys down. Let me see how far I can bring you down so you guys can see the box. Oh yeah, perfect. See, isn't this fabulous? And I did something cool on the back of this one too. Yeah. Did I do a, what did I do on the back of this one? Did I do a big patch? Oh, this one I did, oh, again, I did the same thing. I did a big jean patch and over that, then I put those that, that square seed packet fabric that I got and made a big patch at the bottom. So hopefully you guys are seeing that. Absolutely love this. I love dressing like this, you guys. This is like how I've always wanted to dress my whole life. And now I know how to make the clothes. I am so excited. I've gone to the thrift store. I've gone through my closet. I've bought so much stuff to make these type of clothes. I'm not going to wear anything else. These are the clothes I'm wearing for the rest of my life. Like, I love this style. Like, this style is so me. Okay. 
Um, oh, I was going to show you the shoes. So this is a dollar pair. I should have cleaned these up a little bit before, but it's okay. These are slides from Dollar Tree, you guys. I'll try not to show. If you see any dirty parts, sorry, because I went shopping and they might have got a little dirty. Um, not the flower, but my, see right here? Just a little dirty. Sorry, guys. But anyway, these are uh, slides I bought at Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And um, I picked up like, like 10 of them because I knew I was going to like rhinestone some, put big flowers on some. So I already had planned to do this anyway, but look at that. So I made a big flower. You guys know the big flowers I like to make. Isn't that cute? So these can go with anything. Oh, and they're Velcroed on. So let me show you. I Velcroed it. See? So I can change the flowers. So. Um, I'll make a video on, on my, on making these flowers. I have made videos on how to make the flowers before, but I'll do that where I make the whole thing with the, um, with the, uh, slides. I need to clean those right there. I don't know how they got so, anyway, sorry guys. They're really light, so they'll show any dirt. So I definitely got to get those cleaned up. Anyway. Um, all right, so let me pause you guys. I'm going to change into more stuff that I've made, okay? So I'll be back. Just a second. Okay, you guys, I'm back with another outfit, but with a whole other outfit. Okay, let me explain this outfit a little bit before I get up. This, what I'm wearing right now, this little, like, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a little, um... It's like a little vest, but it's, but it's fancier than a vest. Let's just call it a little vest. Okay. It's made out of a men's like a uh, button up shirt. Oh, and that's the other thing you might want to go up most of the time with this stuff. Like the Magnolia Pearl style is always very oversized. So whenever you do stuff, I would go up maybe two dress sizes. Okay. Or at least one dress size. So it's a little bit oversized. So this was a men's, when you make this like, type of lacy vest um you make it out of a men's button-up shirt you cut off the sleeves which i did i cut off the collar and in the front she shows you how to do all this you make this um upside down u shape like this in the front and in the back and she teaches you how to do that okay and then the shorts now the shorts um I got this idea. I was wanting to do the shorts before I watched her channel. And so, um, but by watching her, I learned how to sew the lace onto the bottom of these shorts. I had been thinking about it, but I'm like, I wasn't sure how to do it. Watching her see her techniques, I can now take it to other things, right? So I have a pair of shorts from Walmart that I always wanted to add lace onto. So that's what I did. So these were $5 shorts from Walmart and I added the lace on it myself, okay? So, with her techniques. All right, so let me get up and show you. Look how cute this is. Isn't this everything, you guys? This is a men, I'll come up close so you can see the fabric, what I did. This is a men's shirt. Like I said, cut off the sleeves, cut off the collar, and see how it's longer on the sides? That's because of that U shape, that upside down U shape, okay? And then you take, um, this right here is probably a curtain. And I took the curtain and I um, uh, pleated, pleated the curtain fabric. I think it's just like eight inches onto the bottom of this. And that's how you get this. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at the back, you guys. Isn't the back gorgeous? She teaches you how to do this too. This is a big applique and you um, sew the applique on and you you turn it inside out and then you cut out the um, you cut out the fabric, you cut out some of the shirt and it leaves the lace so you can sew it see-through. And she teaches you how to do that also. Isn't this gorgeous? And then these are the, um, these are the shorts that I got from, they, they used to only go to here and they had a little, a little trim of lace on them. I wanted to make them more like bloomery looking and just cuter. So I took lace. This is, what was this? 
I'm not sure. This could have just been some lace I had. I think this was the bottom of a skirt. So you guys, wherever you see lace, if you see it on the bottom of a skirt, if you see it on the bottom of a blouse and you like it, if you see a sheet with a skirt, get it. If you see a bed ruffle, get it. All this stuff, especially from the thrift store. Okay, so I just want you to see those up close. Aren't they cute, you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh, and I've also been wearing this stuff, not just with the shoes I'm wearing now, but the slides with the big flowers. I also like to use wear granny boots. I have a beige pair of granny boots, but I just saw some really cute granny boots on Timu, and they come in pink, white, and black. I want all the colors, and I want two pairs of pink. So I'm about to order those soon to match all my outfits. So up close, let me put my readers on so I can just make sure I'm seeing. Okay, see up close. Okay, this is... This is all wedding appliques, and I had went with Olivia, Olivia Hernandez. You guys check out Olivia Hernandez's channel. Let me write her. Let me write her down so I make sure that I um I will connect you guys to Olivia Hernandez. Me and her have been doing like bags and a, a bunch of us. We alter bags. We alter all kinds of stuff. Tote bags. <laughs> make lace books with all these wedding appliques and I'm using all that stuff that we I used to alter things which I still do on clothing now and I got these wedding appliques from a flea market when I went to go visit Olivia Olivia Hernandez and you guys have to go check out her channel she makes some gorgeous stuff with laces and doilies and you guys have to go check my friend Olivia out hey Olivia so this is wedding appliques aren't they gorgeous hopefully you guys can see them and I did them all over. Now, originally, you saw the back, how it was a, a, a big piece of that pink lace, that lacy pink applique. And then I cut it the back out so you can see through it. That's how this was supposed to be, too. But I kind of went crazy with the with these uh, wedding appliques. And so I didn't cut them out. I just kept adding wedding appliques all the way down. See? And then this is the lace. Now, her lace... This is a lace curtain. I did. I ran out of lace with a ruffle, so I just, I just, uh, I just left it uh, raw on the end, and you can do that too. The thing about it is, you can do anything, you guys. That's what's cool. Okay, you can do anything you want. Um, I did some more lace, like where the buttons were. I took the buttons off. I did some more beautiful lace there to cover where the buttons were, and on this side where the buttonholes were. So where the buttons were and where the button holes are, are covered with lace. And then the arms, you trim those with a little bit of lace too. Now your lacy trims like this, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you guys, especially like the smaller laces, um, or even ones that are like this wide or like this, um, from Hobby Lobby. Every other week they have them 40% off. That's where I would go get my trims. And then I also did a trim around the collar. So everywhere where we cut everything off, you trim it up with, with lace. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you guys, I just love it. I'm going to let me sit down so I can show you another thing. Let me bring you guys back up. Now, this is another pair of shorts that I got from Walmart. And these shorts are old, you guys. I got these shorts like five years ago, okay? And they have an elastic waist on them. But look how cute this is. I always love these shorts. Look at the fabric. Aren't those cute? And they had just the smallest little bit of lace on the bottom. But I added this lace. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, again, my friend Olivia Hernandez, she gave me this lace. And I used it on the bottom of these shorts. So that made these shorts like so fancy. Look how cute they are now. Just by adding that little bit of lace on there. I'm obsessed, you guys. Okay, I'm going to get changed, show you guys another thing I've made, okay? Using um, Tracy's techniques. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I've changed again. Okay, now, this one I'm about to show you was made out of a, um, again, just like the other one, made out of a man's shirt, a man's button-up shirt. I um, cut off the sleeves. Um, there's lace trim put on here to cover up those raw edges, okay? Um, I cut off the uh, collar, again, put more beautiful lace there, and then again added 
um, lace at the bottom. And this time, this lace was a tablecloth. And again, I, I, I wanted a ruffle edge, but on this one, I, I couldn't find a ruffled edge either. So it's just a finished edge because that's what I'll use the bottom of the tablecloth, okay? And on the bottom of this, I did it. I did attach the lace on the bottom by um, pleating. And the pleating technique, how you pleat, uh, you pleat the lace on, you guys, once you learn pleating, you can do so much stuff. You can make all kinds of ruffles. You can make ruffled skirts. Ruff, you can put ruffles on anything. And it's so easy how she shows you how to make pleats, okay? So now I know how to make pleats. I never knew how to make pleats before this. Now, the pants, these are considered like bloomers. Like the old, these would be like the old-fashioned bloomers that women used to wear as underwear under their um, dresses. But they're so cute, you guys. Um, and you make them out of drawstring elastic pants or just elastic pants, like cotton ones. And then there is lace put at the bottom. And the lace put at the bottom, I also pleated that on. And I think that this was a curtain, a lace curtain. So be collecting lace curtains if you want to do this kind of stuff. Dust ruffles with a ruffle on it. Uh, lace curtains. Um sheets with the ruffle and then sheets period especially with big flowers or big birds on them and things like that or butterflies or teacups whatever you see that's cute um get some men's shirts so you can make some of these get some robes get some women's nightgown try to get them in cottons is cottons the best way but um one of the one of the dusters you saw the pink one that was actually polyester it wasn't um it wasn't even cotton, so you can do it out of like a polyester, okay? Okay, I'm trying to get the... Okay, there we go. I think my hair was in my shirt. Yeah, okay. So let me get up and show you guys. Sorry about my chair if it's squeaky, you guys. I gotta get myself a new chair. That chair just drives me nuts. Okay, good. I was gonna say... I'll bring the camera down a little bit more, but look how cute this is. Isn't this adorable, you guys? I love this. Here's the back. Oh, and then uh, there's another cutout piece of lace on here again. Right here in the middle, as you guys, or no, I think it's like at the bottom. I put all my laces kind of like at the bottom area because of my hair so that you can see them. And that looks like cut out lace and she gives you the technique of how to do that. So, <clears throat> but look how cute this is. And this is what I'm talking about. Isn't this fabulous, the lace? And the reason it looks like this, like it's longer on the sides is because of that upside down U. And then you pleat on and attach the lace onto the bottom of the men's shirt after you cut that upside down U in the front and in the back. And then the pants, you guys, check out the pants. Okay, these are just, look how cute these are. These are everything. I love these. So, um, these are, um, okay, now, the men's shirt I got, like, probably two sizes bigger. These pants are two sizes bigger. I wear, like, a medium, like an 810 in pants. So, I think that these might be a, tw these might be like a, these might even be a 14. I don't know, a 12 or 14. Now, it sounds crazy, but you want these to be, you're, you're making something completely different than what these were originally meant to be. So go up a couple of dress sizes, okay? So you can get that oversized look, see? Like this. And you want them to look like, like this. see how big these are? And if you can, these have a drawstring and elastic. Try to get the drawstring and the elastic. Um, I wasn't, you know, always, I wasn't always able, I have two more pairs and they're both elastic. She shows you how to, um, if the pants are too big for you, well, they're going to be two or three sizes too big. How to, um, how to sew and, um, how to sew and, uh, make the elastic way smaller. She shows you how to do that. Okay. So, um, and these are called bloomers. Yeah. This, all this stuff is very Magnolia Pro, you guys. So this right here is a wedding applique. I put on the, on this part here and I sewed that on. And then um, the bottom here is that lace curtain that I pleated on, okay? And when you pleat it, it makes it like a ruffle, okay? So you're making your own ruffles. Isn't that cute, you guys? I am obsessed. And then I'm just wearing like a little, a little tank underneath the whole thing. I 
um, obsessed with this outfit. I love it. And I have two more pairs. I just bought uh, two more pairs of elastic oversized pants that I can make more of these like lacy bloomer type of pants. So, okay. And I think that was everything. Yeah, that's everything I've made so far. I've made all this probably in the last four weeks, you guys. So, um, I'm making more stuff. I got, oh, I got so much stuff to make. I want to do, um, I want to do a bit, I want to do a lacy skirt. She just did a video on how to make a really pretty ruffled lacy skirt. I'm going to do that. Um, I want to do, um, these like harem type of pants and make them very lacy and you have a lace ruffle on them. I still want to do those. And then she does a pair of like bloomers that look like, like the pants I'm wearing, but she does it out of a nightgown. So it's all like a onesie type of bloomer outfit. She just did that video today. So I'm definitely making those. In fact, I was so excited to see these like, like a onesie type of bloomer set. It looks like, like the pants I'm wearing now, but there's a top, a top half attached to it. And you make that out of a nightgown. It's really cool. And, um, I used to have some type of bloomer things like that, that I got at a place called Star of India when I used to live in Arizona. And I paid like maybe at the most $10 for that. That place was awesome. It had all these type of clothes that I'm making now. Um, but I live in Las Vegas. So at any rate, <coughs> I'm just excited to be making these clothes. Um, Tracy, if you watch this channel, girl, thank you so much for your techniques. I absolutely love your personality. I love your channel. I love your style. And I love that you're doing like inspired Magnolia Pearl type of clothing. It's just fabulous. It's fabulous. I love it. Um, I'm going to be making, oh, she does these fringe. Okay. You guys know I've always done taking tote bags and I have altered tote bags. I've always done that with appliques and laces and all that, but she does it with a lot of fringe. I've done it with fringe too, but not as much fringe as she uses. So I'm going to use some of her techniques and make some more bags with a lot of fringe and stuff and still putting all my appliques and all of that on there. Um, also I've always made, let me show you guys. Let me show you. I have them over here. I've always, I have a few of them. I've always made these. I've made uh, bracelets and necklaces or cuffs. See this right here? She just did a video on how to make cuffs. So this is ones that I made years ago. I used, to, I put them on leather bands. That's how I attach mine. See? So I'll be making more of these. Now these are all with hot glue. She did it all with sewing and I love the idea with sewing. So I want to do it with sewing. So I'm going to do some with sewing. So this is another one I made. And on this one, you attach it with, I can, you can attach it onto your wrist with ribbon. So you can just tie it on. And then this one again is um, with a leather band. She has a different attachment. You have to wa watch her video on her making her cuffs and you'll see how she attaches them. I just bought some of these little uh, metal attachments um, over the weekend because I want to make them and use those attachments that she um, had to put to attach your uh, cuff on. And here's my last one. And then I also made, I also made like chokers. They're all in my bedroom. I wish I could, I'll, sh I'll show you more in my next video. I also made chokers to go like this. Isn't that fabulous? But this one's a cuff, but I made chokers like this also to go around the neck. So really super excited. Oh my gosh. So again, you guys, um, a link to Tracy's channel. T Myers will be below. Also, Olivia Hernandez, my friend, love you, girl, um, who has donated some of these laces and given them, gifted them to me. I've used them in my clothing. Um, I want you guys to go check out Olivia Hernandez. You will love her channel. She's so talented. She makes the most beautiful things. She alters tote bags like I alter tote bags, puts tons of layers of lace and doilies and oh, fabulousness. She makes lace books. She makes needle books all out of lace and doilies and fabrics. And then she alters all kinds of things. You'll love her channel. So, and she's the one who got me started doing all that kind of stuff originally. Like I've been knowing her as long as I've been on YouTube, like 13 years. I seen her style. I message her. I go, girl, I love what you're doing. And I am going to totally like, you know, emulate you. <laughs> I'm learning from you because I love your stuff. 
So anyway, you guys, so look for in the link below, T. Myers, that's Tracy, and Olivia Hernandez. Her channel is called Olivia Hernandez. Um, I will link both of them in the the thing below. Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, link below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, let me know what your favorite thing is, what your favorite um, item was that I made. And also, are you going to try your hand at this? Go to Tracy's channel, T. Myers, link below, <coughs> and start making this stuff. You'll love it. All right, talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.